And with that, in we go. I don't know if this is going to be the right way, because I remember this being a slightly complicated building, but eh, we'll figure it out. Well, if it's not, we should know in some what swift order. What was your first clue? The giant super mutant in front of us, or when he started shooting? Um, when he yelled, I'll kill you! Something along the lines of that. Oh, there's a bottle cap mine. It's raining oh, money. Of... <laughs> it's raining caps. <laughs> Hallelujah, it's raining caps. Beer bottle. You know, I'm a little bit too sober. Hmm. Okay, this is this is funny. It's just little, I'm imagining a super mutant crying over his dog like the Rancor trainer in Return of the Jedi now. Which, you know, legit was pretty sad. You know, I'll be honest, that's the only person on that entire transport system that I, I even gave a damn about because I was like, aw, poor guy. I mean, I mean it might have been like this terrifying monster to everybody else, but to him it was his fluffy. Yeah, he, that was, he, that he was, was basically fluffy. He was basically their Hagrid. And that was their hippogriff, I guess. Yeah, their... You should go over to where that... Uh, Buckbeak? Or, yeah, Buckbeak would work. Uh, you can go... You should go over to where that bottle cap mine was and pick up all the caps. I will, but first I'm going to see if I can get this slice of pie. <gasps> give the answer is no. D will it give you another chance? I don't know. Oh, well, let, what does well it does that? I'm gonna go pick up these caps. Because the nice thing is, when because you, once you get one of the caps from it, it you gets get them all. all of them. Give me the pie. I, I want a pie. Oh, this is. I don't think. My you, God, this is a terrible claw game. Yeah. Die. <laughs> I don't think. I think if you can't get the pie, you just can't get the pie. That was my pie. Well, it's ah. She just sounds so cheerful about it. I have sustained considerable damage. Me too. Me three. Could eat some squirrel as bits. I'm speaking as the as the bottle cap mine. Yeah. <laughs> hey, plus side, you can still get the caps even afterwards. Mm -hmm. Can I just sit here and say, can you go back over to the to that? That's either a coffee machine or an espresso machine. I think it's an espresso machine. It's kind of terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know that that's the, the stuff that comes out of that probably glows. Yes. Like, back when they originally created it. <laughs> and I want it. Yeah, fair enough. So the pie tragedy 20, 2287. <laughs> you know, I'm Wait, sure that I'm sure it? that was put on the incident report. <laughs> Actually, that kind of makes me think of something. Uh-oh. What, like, it's kind of a, like a weird parallel, but if you think about it, I'm pretty sure that some of the Star Trek series take place around uh, this time period. Hmm. So you're suggesting that Star Trek could be taking place during all of this? Oh, no. Not uh, taking place during, but just that... It's like two different timelines. One, you've got your superistic, you know, your futuristic setup with Captain Kirk and alien no. babes and so on and so forth. Ah, the old dual timeline. I see what you're doing here. Yeah. And in this version, you've got uh, super mutants in a wasteland. So what's the difference? Hmm. That's a good question. I guess you could say that in the Star Trek timeline, they managed to claw their way out of uh, out of the post-apocalypse sooner. Well, did they also, you know, that the concept of nuclear uh, God, words are hard today. They are. Uh, essentially, you know, subjecting through fear about whether or not you're going to use nuclear power. Mm-hmm. And if so, how did they do it? Ooh, Brahmin meat. There you go. Cooking oil. Delicious. A well, rib cage and pelvis. We'll just leave that where it is. Wait, is there any meat on it, or is it just the rib cage itself and, and just the pelvis, like the, the bone structure? Because there's no meat on it. There's no point in taking it. Yeah, that's true. Unless you're trying to make some bone stock. 
to go to to go and lead it all the way back to that whole, you know, just randomly speaking about callously eating people. Technically, they didn't say it was a small. True. So small, there's a, large, or other. There's a patio there, but our objective, it's telling us, is up here. Um, well, you're well, on the right level. Huh. There. And then there's an elevator, so... Oh, some 45 rounds in that meat bag. I don't even want to know how that happened. So, <clears throat> let's give it a shot. Oh, Actually, that, that... We're going to the rooftop pool. Watch out. Somebody's up here swimming. They just keep swimming. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know something? I'm not going to sit there. Well, you're a real you're a real humanitarian. I am a humanitarian. Well, here's here's the thing. It's it's if you're cooking meat, the only I mean, really the only thing it's good for then is a broth. Yeah. <laughs> or a stock. And you'd have to use some kind of root veg to get a stock. Oh my god, you are Freddy. You kill me with squee. Huh? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> anyway. one, of our, one of our cats has crawled up on my, on my work clothes with every evidence of bliss. With his, little, with his giant paws crossed in front of him. Okay, so... Uh, there's, there's, there's no point. I'm, I'm amazed that there's still water in this pool. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I'm going to turn off Butcher's Bill, too, so I don't have multiple... Uh... Markers? Yeah, because that's probably confusing things considerably. What's on the table behind you? Ah, oh, no. uh, a couple of things I did not intend to pick up. And I don't know where that guy's shooting at us from. Mm, I don't think he knows where he's shooting you from. Actually, is there anything good in the pool? The answer to that would be no. I'm not a stupid human. I will have you know. Where's Curry? Uh, I think that she's picking a fight. Oh, there she is. And shooting. Oh, is he down there? I think so. Face me, you mark. Yeah, I'm still intact, mostly. Okay, so I guess we're gonna check and see if. And then there's a bunch of gunners. I don't even know. Wait, is there even a way down from here? Yeah. Well, you don't want to go down from here. Do you? I don't know. Time to end this relationship. Long distance. Identity unknown. Leg. Oof. They're like booby! They hide their face behind a pillar or pylon, and then they end up taking rounds to the leg because... I, you can't see me. Oh yeah, I'm a big burly super mutant. Got it. Ooh, you blew something apart. And you know, there's I'm... a legendary gunner, so let's just put a stop to her, that person's legendariness right now. Oh, and the legend ends. You know, I'll be honest. The, uh... The you know this you know this really reminds me of. Uh, mm -hmm. Take a look to the right. There. Ah, there's the stairs. Yeah. But yeah, you know what it reminds me of? Raiders: The Legendary Journey, and the journey ends. Okay. Reference to uh, the legendary Kung Fu: The Legendary Journey. Ah yes. God, that makes me feel old. Okay, so there's this dead cloaking metal left leg, and... Okay. What good does a cloaking left leg do you when the rest of you is exposed? I've never claimed them to be deep thinkers. See, this is, this is why I'm around. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure our goal is actually down here. Mm-hmm. And I don't think hopping down there would end well. I 
think it's a good idea. I mean, unless there's some fucking power armor somewhere around here. Yeah. I, I'll be honest. Wait a minute. Did did you see the third item that Super Mutant was carrying? A tibia? A tibia. You know? Just what I carry around on the, you know, off occasion that I need it. Once again, Cannibal Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> Pro oh. tip. <laughs> so let's see. Maybe we can try and check on this other balcony, <laughs> left leg bones. How, how do you know they're left? Um, actually, you could tell that by the way that... Oh, God, this... King anatomy. This gets into my, my, yeah, to my knowledge of anatomy. Which, no, it is not because I'm a cannibal. <laughs> Awfully defensive us, about that. Let us be clear about this. It is not because I'm a cannibal that I know this. Obviously. But no, uh, actually, the way that the tibia, the fibula, and the femur, and actually, the patella, here. and everything all hooked together mm -hmm. uh, would tell you which side it was on, because they, yeah. they, you know, so if it's a full left leg, you'd know which way. Yeah, but uh, just a phrasing thing. Oh, no. When you say, I don't know this because I'm a cannibal, that implies that you are a cannibal, but that's not the reason you know it. <laughs> well, yes. I, I don't know this because I'm a cannibal, and I am also not a cannibal. I'm not a cannibal, and that's but so but I don't. I, okay, I know this because of many anatomy and physiology classes. Okay. Yeah. Um, there is that. Is that sufficient? Yeah. Does that cover my ass to the point that nobody's gonna sit there and look at me and be like, "Oh, Nancy's a cannibal." Maybe yeah. we'll see. Theater district. Yeah, you know. It's, it's kind of different to be a cannibal versus cannonball run. <laughs> you know, I've never seen that. I've never seen that either. I just know the title. <laughs> you just know it's a thing that exists in the world. I know it's a world. thing. It exists somewhere in the world. It's not mine. Uh, I don't own it. I don't have a copy of it. And But I do know that it's a thing. I don't know. Was cannonball run like a John Wayne? Mm, oh, no. wait. No, I'm going to. Now you're going to look it now up. I'm going to look it up. And now, oh my God! They have a Cannonball Run too. <laughs> okay. That, uh, oh, Burt Reynolds, Burt Jackie Reynolds. Chan. Oh wow! Why haven't we seen this? Because it has Burt Reynolds in it. <laughs> I'm sorry. The last thing I saw with with Burt Reynolds in it was Smokey and the Bandit. <laughs> <laughs> but also Roger. And also or, like that one episode of Friends. Yeah, Dom DeLuise, Farrah Fawcett. Okay, this could be good. But this could also be terribly bad, and considering the fact that it gets three stars on average. And Sammy Davis Jr. Well, yes, but that doesn't necessarily... A good cast doesn't mean it's necessarily good. Yeah. Especially if it's bad directing. You know? Okay. Yeah, see? Kate Shizzle knows. Cannonball Run was... Bur so you've seen it. Is it any good? I mean, quite... I, now, I'm quite curious. I'll be honest, with a name like Cannonball Run, I was expecting it to be like an Old West uh, war movie, like against the Indians. Uh, or against the Native Americans. Hmm. Let's see. I... That was my expectation, and... Hello, ghoul. Wrong weapon, but oh well. <laughs> Not switching. It, wor it worked! How's Although, it? I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little disappointed. You expected more splatter? No. I expected you to get it up Main Street. Oh, fair enough. But as we always say, if it's stupid and it works, then, well, it's not stupid. Well, if it's stupid and it works, well, that was a genius idea. I, th I think you had to go through all of that so you could get to this point. Yeah. Because that was, that was the only way from that direction, and I think every time you've done it is... There is no cannibalism in Cannonball Run. Well, I'm disappointed. I mean, Dom DeLuise. Well, Usually, that's... he plays like a he, he plays like a chef, doesn't he? Yeah, that explains why it only got the two stars. That explains why it only got three stars. I mean, can, cannibalism probably would have knocked it up at least one and a half stars. <laughs> who's gonna eat? Who's gonna eat Tom? <laughs> did you just Burt get, did you just like merge Tom Cruise and Burt Reynolds into a single name? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which. I'm sure there's a fan fiction out there somewhere where that happens. Yeah. Like, well, I mean, I'm sure that I'm sure that somebody was asking, like, you know. Probably called Mustache Don Don DeLuise was asking, when can I eat Burt Reynolds? 
Uh, Worst part is Burt Reynolds' name was directly in front of me, and I still said Tom. <laughs> Actually, what was really funny is I almost called Dom DeLuise Tom DeLuise. Yeah. <sighs> Beautiful um, thing. That's weird. Hmm? Mm. Uh-oh. Is thy game shitting in thine self? That is a good question. Okay. Well. Well, we'll see. Um, it could be just a graphical glitch. We'll drink we'll, to that. We'll, we'll, we'll give it a. We'll give it a minute. Well, mm. general, generally, when it fails, it uh, does so spectacularly. Oh, Fallout! When you fail, it is spectacular. Ah, oh, wait, we're showing something. You know, Tom Reynolds, that guy from from that film, Smokey and the Top Gun. Actually, those were two different people. That was Tom DeLuise <laughs> and uh, Dom Reynolds. Okay. Who uh, were in uh, Smokey and the Top Gun. A lot of times where the Top Gun buzzed the uh, Smokey. <laughs> I'm, I'm reaching, I know. Well, not to mention you're just inventing new euphemisms out of whole cloth. Yeah, and? Is that a problem? <laughs> no, but it is a problem if we keep loading and can't get in here. Like, seriously, what is going on? Apparently it blew its load, and, well, now we have to deal with the consequences. <sighs> Fact. The game decided to have an abortion. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere. Well, while it's doing this, and you are finishing your drink... I'll be right back, and then do the do the replacement drink. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we're back now that hopefully that fixed our error. But let's see. So this super mutant enforcer is back. And we just need to make our way back to where we were. Hopefully this error doesn't crop up again, but, well, if it does, we'll deal with it. I don't know exactly how, but we will. So we were going back up this roof. I have no idea what did that, but occasionally any game this complicated will have these issues. So, luckily we didn't lose very much progress. Um, but what the hell just happened there? Something came up from behind me and hit me. Oh, that feral ghoul stalker. That's much more like it. So let's see what happens now. Crossing our fingers, this thing doesn't freeze up. <laughs> but the fact that the circles are still moving is a good sign. And this is what... Oh, Curry wants to talk to us. Sure. I enjoy talking with you. As do I. I owe you so very much, and I do not mean to sound ungrateful, but I fear I am barely holding myself together. Are you all right? I just don't know. Becoming a saint is so much harder than I ever imagined. At first it was a struggle just to master basic functioning. How to brush the teeth, how to operate with only two hands, etc. But now I am full of inconsequential thoughts, feelings. How do you do everything with this whirlwind in the head? I hope some of these inconsequential feelings involve me. Oh boy, yes. I'm getting the look. No. And see, now my head goes ever more. Bean, bean, bean. So I'm really hoping that Freddy didn't yarf after he'd like eaten that. Yeah. But for me, it is so hard to focus, to do research. And inspiration is as elusive as ever. 
I fear mm. I will never contribute. So how did you survive being thrown from a building by a ghoul? Mm. What did I miss? <laughs> Just that. Right. Yeah. Science isn't the only way you can help the Commonwealth. Perhaps you're right. And together we have done much good. The saving grace in all of this is you. As a robot, I had much appreciation for you. But now it is deeper. I am still loyal. But now I do this because I want to. Because you are my friend. So, just friends? Nothing more than that? I feel very funny. I must cut this short. My eyes, <laughs> they are malfunctioning. Adieu. She says adieu, but she does not leave. Um, yes. All I think her adieu is more, stop talking to me. <laughs> yeah, for the moment. For the moment. I can't, I can't deal with this. Okay. It's... Can I start calling it twitching up? Yeah, that's a fair statement. So I'm going to do a refresh mm. of the... Aha, we secured the DIA cache. Jumpsuit. Rounds. Oh. Baseball grenade. This time it actually it actually kept the, the conversation. Oh, nice. Yay! And a postman uniform, in case I feel like reenacting that movie. As weird as it was. Yeah, that's what was, we were talking about the other day. I was saying that the postman was even weirder as a book than as a movie. Well, then again. But you know, maybe I should see that at some point, but eh, whatever. It's one of those cases of I've heard that it's like one of Kevin Costner's better roles. And maybe one of the best roles that he's had in, well, since Dances with Wolves mm -hmm. or The Field of Dreams. Fair enough. But uh, I really couldn't say. <laughs> now I'm like getting all kind of jumpy when uh, I'm going through this loading screen. Like, is it going to mess up on me again? Yeah, that is pretty creepy. But totally something Archer would do. I mean... Oh. He got a tattoo for baby Seamus. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Quincy Ruins is not reporting as cleared. You know, I'm going to go to the Adam Cat's garage. That's a safe area. They're not overrun. They might be at war, but you yeah. know. Yeah, it's kind of weird when you think about it, though. In, real, in reality, Kitty is pretty much the oldest of our companions, other than Codsworth. Well, there's... Or potentially Codsworth. Actually, that depends on when she rolled off the line and when Codsworth rolled off the line, because it seemed like you hadn't had Codsworth for that long before the bombs fell. Mm -hmm. Whereas Curry was in a, a vault. Working. Working before that, so she probably is the oldest yeah. companion that you have access to. But yet, she's still emotionally young. That's something. Oh my gosh, that is so. That is so true. Oh my gosh, it's just. That is just so like how some people can be. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I just I had to take that moment. <laughs> yeah. So I downloaded our previous aborted stream just to make sure we had it. Good, because that would that would be it would be terrible if we had to do that. Fifty-seven minutes, twenty-six seconds. Probably including about three or four minutes of blank screen. Yeah, over again. Over again, because that would just suck. We've got a hostel. And the alley host? cats? Let's see, Adam cats? Okay, I don't know who you are. Absalom, I shall end you. Oh, hand she says Hancock was... They, they said Hancock was alive pre-war. Actually, no, he wasn't. But I don't think that we can get into that right now. I I don't want to spoil her. Yeah, but basically Hancock Hancock looks older than than he is. I'm just gonna sit there and say that. You need some. I'm not gonna say how old he is. Yeah. Okay, Curry, I need to carry some stuff. Uh, take the baseball grenades. You can use them as long as you don't use them on me. Here, you wear this. Now we have a combat helmet. Which um, we can use if we really want to at some point. Yes. Yeah, but but you'd have to put away the captain's cap. That would just be 
could just be wrong. That would, uh... I mean, come on. That would just totally destroy the outfit. Come on. Mm -hmm. Think about fashion. True. <laughs> ah. And that is the only thing to keep me from doing it. Okay, Blackbird Report. Finally. Found the damn thing. Find uh, there Agent... is a laser trip wire directly in front of you. So there is. Why is there a laser trip wire directly in front of you? Don't know. But we're going to fast travel to somewhere else. Where are we traveling? Uh, to go find this Agent Blackbird, but we won't. Yay! Crystals and fiber ops. So Optics. we're looking for Agent Blackbird, who's somewhere north by... Between Finch Farm and County Crossing. Oh, no. No, don't go to Finch Farm. Go to County Crossing. I mean, uh, either one is going to be Minutemen. God, maybe you should go get him and... Uh, but he's going to give you more shit to do. Gah! Yeah. Curse whoever it is who voted for Garvey. <laughs> Nine times. Nine. Nine times. Sit there and throw... I don't even remember no what... No times? Nine. I'm not speaking German, but no, seriously. There's, okay, I'm trying to remember. Oh, wait a minute. Ferris Bueller's day off. He's been absent nine times. Yeah. Somebody voted for him, for, for Preston, nine times. I don't know if that was one person <laughs> or if that was multiple people. I think we got a troll. <laughs> yes, Preston did. Yes, Gay yeah. Shizzle. Preston won the poll. <laughs> <laughs> the reaction is priceless. Now, we are... We're this, is why, this is why it's so important to vote. Yep. And as we say, at least in this term... Oh. Oh, my. Rocket launcher? Yay! Rocket launcher! Well, yes. As we say, vote early, vote often. In uh, one of these... Um, it's not moving. Oh, I think that's because I crippled a leg. No, it's not even trying to move. Maybe that this all came from outside of its range? On a sentry bot? Shouldn't be. Well, I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. I'm not going to look a... Okay. Call whatever you want. <laughs> and I just killed it. And it's going to explode. Yep. Why was there just a red? <laughs> I'm with You're you. like my spirit animal. <laughs> You're just like you're my spirit person because I so feel the same way. That's actually, you know. Um, yes, first Brexit and Trump. Now. But, you know, obviously now right now we're not worrying about uh, Preston just because. Well, we need to get these. We need to get the backlog. And then we'll deal with Preston. And then, if there's any backlog on the next stream from Preston, God damn you. <laughs> sorry, Preston, uh, then we will. Uh... Oh! <coughs> well, that's the wrong weapon. No, I it's switched. the right one. But yeah. Uh, then I guess we'll have to deal with any backlog from. Garvey's. Yeah. God, that just hurts me so much. Like, soul deep. Soul deep. <laughs> I understand. Like, don't get me wrong. You know, I, I feel bad dogging Preston like this. But you don't. But he's... Okay. I'm just gonna lay it right out there, right? Mm -hmm. He's so goddamn needy! <laughs> <laughs> he is. He's... He's like Rascal and Alex and Freddy at the various times when each of them are all needy and even Jinxie. When they're all needy, and but he's all compiled into one body that is chronically needy because if you're not, if he's not needing you, he he needs you. And there is something to your right. Hearing shit. Wow! Oh my god, a waster who actually takes cover! Well, we see how well that worked out for her. Yeah, when she was behind it, it was fine! <laughs> this is my alert country. Quick, get the borax. 
No, 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 no. Don't get the borax. Get the sugar. That'll lure him in. And then hit him with the borax. And is... Was that a... I thought that that was a dog. Oh, there's a dog behind him. Okay, so I am not imagining shit. Okay. You know something, Kishizzle? That, that's about right. Preston is a needy cat. Seriously. A totally needy cat. God damn these survivalists being able to take cover. Snipe. Ooh. I mean, we're not gonna let you live, but... Oh god, I just shot off the front of his power armor. Shoot off his helmet! Shoot off his helmet! Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, I almost feel bad, though. Poor guy. I mean, he thought he was safe. He did think he was safe. He didn't realize that he was up against Sterling Archer. Yes, I totally did that like Sterling Archer is the bad guy. <laughs> Technically, you didn't come... Did... Were you the one who threw that grenade? No, I think that was somebody else. Death by physics. The question is, who threw it? Look. Ah, there we are. Well, only one thing to do then. Yeah, there's only one thing to do in a situation like this. Charge! Hello, doggy. Aw, I feel kind of bad. I think you need to take his helmet when you leave here. Level and up. Give it to, and give it to dog meat. But, you know, then how does dog meat feel after all of that? I mean, for God's sakes. You have dog... More and cover for your vital organs. I mean, how does dog meat feel when you, he knows that you've stolen this off the corpse of another dog? You know, like, you give him a, you give him a freaking... I mean, you, you sit there and you give him a, a cute freaking... If, if you give him a cute, like, collar or, you know, bandana, he knows that you got that from another dog that you killed, right? Ooh, book return tokens. Cool. These are very erudite raiders. Uh, very well read. What is that on the floor? No, 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 no. Not in front of you. To the, to the right now. Ah, uh, part of a gun. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, totally playing games with you. You know why? I get off on that shit. <laughs> Bye. I'm Kate. <laughs> Apparently. Well, I think you found... something. <laughs> yes, that's right. I totally sat there and assumed Kate. Just sit there and say, yeah, because I get off on that shite. You get okay. off on fucking with your, your wee head. This is a, well, being a master lock, this is a difficult one. Okay. I've pinned it down. Further. Nice. Sweet. Ooh, and you got book ta tokens. And there's a book magazine. Yes. Live in love. Uh, Permanently gain plus luck from alcohol when adventuring with a companion. Can I just make an observation? You you shut that far too swiftly. Can you pull that up again so you can see the cover? I don't think so. Oh my god, that cover. Okay, wait a minute. No, no. You, okay, anybody who's watching the stream, the cover, look at this. It's just totally fucking insane. Yeah. It's an insane man pointing at himself in a mirror. Need I say more? Okay, so there's some people over here who are looking for me. Well, guess what? You're looking for them. Someone and right now they're kind of... Perhaps they are friendly. Mm. I'm sorry, Kiri. I wish they were friendly. But these are people who aren't very good at making friends. Kind of like me. Mostly because of the fact that I don't trust them. And they want to put bullets into me. Yep. 
Okay. Oh God. So that's that. <laughs> there. Wow, that's rather dark. Well, cynical. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> cynical was what I was gonna go with. Uh, so I think yeah. that's everything. I just don't trust people. They just want to put bullets into me. Well, these are some really well-read raiders. You have to get into that, but in the meantime... Wait, what? You know, let's go ahead and level up, then we'll continue with our quest here. And ah! save. I have a cat. Okay. I have a cat. Okay, so Alex decided he was going to crawl underneath my legs on the mm -hmm. by the couch. And he was going to stalk Freddy. Yep. But Freddy got the jump on him. And he bounded off. And Freddy took flight. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and put that point into armor rank 4. So we can get our mods for that. Yay! Because we said channeling. we were... I'm, yeah. I'm channeling Pam. Because we said we were going to do that. It's really too bad that you can't have an overweight companion whose name is Pam. Huh? True. And then we're going to save and continue.